What's up, everyone? Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com, brought to you courtesy of Iron Mag Labs and Muscle Gels, topical muscle enhancement gels available at musclegels.com. I just noticed something very interesting, my friends, and that is that Louis Marco, the most popular YouTuber on the internet, has deleted or seemingly removed his interview with Dave Jumbo Palumbo of rxmuscle.com. Why, pray tell, would he have done that? This is an interview where Louie had the upper hand, where a lot of the times Dave was contradicting himself. A lot of the times Dave was flip-flopping. Why would Louie have removed it? Well, I think Louie removed it because the whole reason that he went on RX Muscle to begin with was to foster good faith, goodwill, uh, you know, cooperation. Uh, after his initial appearance at RX Muscle, he also went out and did a really positive video trying to get his subscribers over to RX Muscle. If it sounds like I'm taking Louis' side, you know, as far as this part of the story, I am. Uh, you know, and Dave did betray him. Now, I don't fault uh, John Romano, Greg Valentino, Sadiq Faruqi, or Chris Aceto uh, for that iron debate where, yes, many of them did, in fact, trash Louis Marco because, as Greg Valentino said... On last Tuesday's special Greg Valentino Live, usually it's Monday nights, it was on Tuesday night because of the holiday, New Year's Day, Happy New Year everyone, uh, Greg said that Dave likes to set him up, you know, Comerica Muscle asked him a great question, by the way, Comerica Muscle's new show, Superhero Strong, will be available at Iron Mag TV coming very shortly, he's also at the LA Fit Expo, uh, you know, out there, you know, taking photos and possibly doing interviews with Rough House TV and Kevin Nivek, who's his producer, great guy, great team, but Comerica asked a question, you know, uh, Greg, you know, you know, it seems to me like Palumbo makes you the fall guy a lot of the times, you know, where Palumbo sets you up and and Greg admitted to that. And Greg even said that before the iron debate, I was on iron debate and, and I saw it happen too. you know, there's sort of a pre-production there's sort of a, you know, a, a chat about what's going to be said. You know, and that's why when Dave says to Louie on that interview that he did with Louie, you can't blame me. You can't blame me for what Greg said or what John Romano said. I'm, I'm not to blame. Well, actually, you are to blame because during that pre-production that the viewers don't see, that doesn't get aired, there are expectations, there are ideas, there's a, you know, conversation. And so in a very real way, Dave wants ratings, Dave wants hits. And in a very real way, like Greg Valentino said, every single time John Romano does one of these iron debates, you know, he gets attacked left, right, and center online. Greg does one, he gets attacked left, right, and center online. Who's the one person that doesn't get attacked? Dave Palumbo. And if you watch Ask Ron episode 24, which aired just a couple days ago at MuscularDevelopment.com, at the very beginning of that show, Ron talks about saying, you know, he doesn't have any issues with Palumbo, but he does find it unusual that Palumbo has a cult-like following. In other words, people that don't see the error in Dave's ways, if there are any, that don't disagree with Dave. In other words, Dave's followers are completely oblivious to the fact that he is using John Romano and Greg Valentino and even Sadiq Faruqi, who Louis Marco threw under the bus on that second interview, and Dave did not come out in his defense. Louis basically said that Sadiq did not know how to run a show, when in reality, as Greg Valentino has told me on many occasions, Sadiq is an employee, Sadiq gets his marching orders from Dave, anything Sadiq says, Dave has, you know, basically spoken to him about, they have conferred about. So, for Louis Marco to trash or to attack Sadiq and Dave not to respond in, you know, Sadiq's defense speaks to the point that Greg Valentino made, that everybody on that show is there basically to be thrown under the bus, to say outlandish things, to take the heat so that Dave can get the benefit. And so I think Louis is keen to that. I think Louis realizes, hey, man, you know, calling Valentino and Romano has attacking these guys is really probably not going to solve anything in fact the real person you know the real person with the issues isn't Romano isn't Valentino it's certainly not Sadiq it's Palumbo and Louis Marco is probably thinking to himself why am I going to make someone that is essentially out of it essentially 
you know, just a matter of time before he bows out and focuses full time on selling snakes and species. It's the truth. I mean, you know, also, like Ron said on Ask Ron episode 24, muscular development has a lot of rival publications, Digital Muscle, Flex. They don't have issues with any of their rivals. The only website where there's issues is RX Muscle. Now, granted, you know, Dave did work in the first incarnation of the website. And granted, there are some issues, unresolved issues of, of friendship, whatever drama between the two. But muscular development is so far ahead of RX Muscle. I mean, muscular development, digital muscle, these websites, they're the next frontier of fitness. They are the next frontier of bodybuilding coverage. RX, I mean, Dave got thrown out of the nationals thrown out of the nationals i don't think people especially within that cult that cult-like following of palumbo supporters i don't think they realize what it is to get thrown out of the npc nationals it's it's to me it i don't understand you know and on top of that on top of that to have essentially essentially backstabbed two of the most popular social media. I mean, Nick Strength and Power, Dave Palumbo attacked vehemently as basically a nobody, as basically someone that didn't know what he was talking about, as basically someone that wasn't reliable. When Dave took Nick's assessment, Nick's report that Kai Green had given up on the IFBB, would never compete on the IFBB, was going to Super League, it was basically Nick's vlog nick had a source whatever and he gave an opinion he did not say hey dave come steal my story come parrot everything i said for your news show that you have paid sponsors for that you have your sixty-five thousand on paper subscribers that are going to tune in he did not say here take this news story nick was basically just giving a vlog his opinion Dave ran with it because, you know, I guess someone said, hey, Dave, this this kid, this Nick Strength and Power kid, he's got Aaron Singerman's attention. At the time, he's got over 200,000 subscribers. I don't know if you're good at math there, Dave, but that's, you know, that's more than three times the subscribers you have. Oh, well, I'm going to go and follow him and I'm going to name drop him, which he did. And Nick was wrong. But Nick's subscribers, it's not to say that they expect him to be wrong, but he is not a news station. He is not a publishing house and so when he was wrong his subscribers were understanding you know because he he had a source and 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 he gave an opinion he was wrong whereas dave palumbo that's a news site that's a bodybuilding coverage site and when he's wrong because he relied 100 percent on nick strength and power he looks stupid okay and so when you get thrown out of nationals and you either backstab the biggest YouTuber, Louis Marco, or trash the second biggest, Nick Strength and Power, you know what I mean? And your sponsors, you can't keep them to save your life. Your production quality sucks. Your forums are dead. I mean, completely and utterly dead. What what future do you have? You have no contest coverage. Your video's production quality sucks. You can't get press passes. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know. You're at war with the biggest social media stars. I mean, why would Louis Marco keep Dave Palumbo's interview up? The only person it helps is Dave Palumbo. So it, you know, it makes sense for Louis to have removed the video, if in fact that's what he did. If he didn't delete it, he made it private. But the video ain't there. 